Since you can create or import documents anywhere in your Scrivener project, it's important to have a place to store the bulk of your writing, the material you want to end up in the finished manuscript. That is the function of the draft folder, which appears in every Scrivener project. Text documents created within or moved to the draft folder will be included in your final manuscript by default, although you have some measure of control over that when you compile, but over the course of a project you will find yourself creating folders and text documents inside of the draft folder. Incidentally, the draft folder can be renamed in the same way any other file or folder can, by double-clicking it in the binder and entering a new name. If you use some of Scrivener's built-in project templates, you will find the draft folder has been renamed Manuscript, but it still performs the same function. The draft folder can only hold text documents and folders. Media files cannot be moved to the draft, although images can still be embedded within text documents. That aside, there are very few restrictions to how you structure your work in the draft folder. You can restructure your project at any time by dragging things around in the binder, using the edit move commands, or creating folders from a group of documents. Naturally, you may not settle on a structure until the late stages of a project, so the draft folder doesn't require you to lock a structure in place before you start writing. Let's work through a few examples of how you might add some structure to your draft. Here is my latest work in progress novel, which I've been writing as a series of scenes. The individual scenes are all in my draft folder, in no particular order, and I'm ready to put them into chapters. First, I can drag the scenes into the order I want them to be read. Now if I select these scenes and use Documents, New Group from Selection, I can put these into a chapter folder. We'll name it Chapter 1. I could also just create a new folder, name it Chapter 2, and drag the next few scenes into it. These can still be reordered once they're in this folder. As the project has grown, I've ended up with a lot of chapters, and now I've decided to break this book up into parts. Selecting the first 10 chapter folders, I'll use Documents, New Group from Selection, and create a Part 1 folder for these. The next group of chapters can be Part 2, and the last will fit comfortably into Part 3. Another approach would be to write a chapter per document instead of working with scenes grouped into chapter folders. That's what I'm doing in this project. I create a new document, write a chapter, and begin a new document, until I have a draft made up of individual text documents. Let's say the last chapter felt a little long, but the final few paragraphs make sense as an epilogue. I could place the cursor here, and use Documents Split at Selection to split this up. If I change my mind later, it's also possible to join two documents together using Documents Merge, although Scrivener stitches together everything in the draft folder into a single document when you compile the manuscript anyway, so you might not need to merge documents very often. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you want to learn more about the features of Scrivener, our other videos should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!